Hello it, everybody, my name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Season 14 is upon us. And with that, we got some vehicles that they gave, and uh, this is one of them. The Earth Roamer LTI. Now, if you don't know what this is, this company called Earth Roamer takes a F550. I do believe it's a 550. They, they do all sorts of stuff. But this truck is based off of the F550 that they put a fucking camper on. And I guess the devs at SnowRunner thought that this was a good idea to put this into this game. <laughs> now, in real life, it does seem like a pretty capable truck, don't get me wrong. But I, I just kind of wanted to see how it would do. Uh, I'm not going to show you, like, how to get it, because, well, there's, there's plenty of other channels that do that kind of stuff. And they're probably way more informative than me. And if you caught my live stream... Uh, you would have seen me get this truck. So I guess I just kind of wanted to tool it around. I think I wanted to throw it, throw the gauntlet at it and see how it does the gauntlet. But I guess uh, let's see what we can do to this thing. Because there are a couple things you can do to it. For engines, you just have your, you know, your base in-game engines. But we'll go with the big boy. And it does bring the power to weight up to an A. Other than B+. Plus, which... I guess anything is going to help this truck. Gearbox has got stock, fine-tuned, freeway, and snow runner. We'll put the snow runner gearbox in it. Suspension, you got the stock and the raised. And I don't really understand why they did this. Because you don't really get much out of it. You don't really get much of a lift. I think they should have just kept it the way that it was, really. Tires. I have seen a couple things and they say that the earth roamer tires actually aren't all that bad all things considered and i'm not going to go through all the different tires trying them out there probably are a better set of tires to use uh you can let me know but for this we're just going to stick with the earth roamer tires i don't want to be fucking around for an hour trying to find a set of tires that are better than this. When you got the stock extended, advanced, autonomous, and high power. We'll do the autonomous just in case. You never know. I'll probably end up tipping it over. Spare wheel. That's you know, that's all that stuff is already there. Struggle, you got your little front facing there on the, the front quarter panel, or you do have the tall. We'll do the tall. Frame add-ons, you got a little trailer hitch. You got a heavy trailer hitch. You got a service kit that gives you 450 repair parts, which is kind of nice. You get three spare wheels and you get 160 fuel. I'll put that on there. And you do have the portable radar, which... If you like to use the radar, I guess this thing might be more useful to you than it is to me. Visuals, you got a reinforced bumper. Kind of gives it a little more style. Put that on there. Miscellaneous, you got the... The side steps. I mean, sure. It, I, it doesn't do anything for the truck other than just spruce it up a little bit, you know. Colors. All you can do are solid colors. So, not much you can do there. Of course, you got bobbleheads and accessories and stickers and hood ornaments. All that good stuff. But let's go see how this thing does. Like I said, I, I tootle it around during the live stream and it, it, well, it didn't perform all that great. Well, let's see how it does in the good old Wisconsin map. Oh yeah, just a off-road camper. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they were thinking putting this in the game. I really, really don't. Definitely Ford-esque interior. I would hope so, because it is an in-game truck. The one thing that drives me absolutely crazy about this thing is the way that it sounds. It doesn't sound like a fucking V8 diesel, like it should. It sounds like a fucking Volkswagen or something. It just doesn't sound right. And you don't get nothing with it. You don't get like diff lock, you know, none of that stuff is on all the time but you can pull like your regular trailers 
Well, I do have a... I think I got a trailer pack on. Oops. Forget that stuff. No, you can put, like, your maintenance trailer and your service trailer. And, of course, your scout trailers. Which I guess is... I don't know. Better than nothing. I... But let's go see how far we can actually make it with this thing. We'll put it in four-wheel drive right away. Take her down into the old washed-out river. Oh, oh my god! I was not expecting that. Let's obviously put it in low. We'll lock that diff up. Give this thing the best chance that it can. And, uh... Yeah. Pretty much exactly how you think this thing would go through here. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make it through this or not. This is a a fairly crappy little stretch here, but it, it should do it. At least I, <laughs> I, I hope so. Because I, I do want to show a comparison here. All right, after sitting there spinning for a good... A little bit where it's slowly, slowly but surely inching our way to the end. <laughs> not, not doing the greatest. All right, and after a little bit and some very careful winching, it finally fucking did it. Let me go get something that I can compare this to. All right, so I grabbed the old in-game F750. We're gonna see how this goes through it compared to the Earth Roamer. Definitely, I wouldn't say it's like doing this as well just trying to give at least some sort of comparison i gotta say this thing is definitely moving a little better but it you know that's probably also the weight of the truck but definitely doing it a whole lot better than the Earth Roamer. No, definitely not like a complete, like one to one comparison. But even using the winch, I'd use the winch at that point with the other truck too. Now, it didn't do it as quickly as what I thought it was going to do. It definitely did a whole lot better. Let's go see how the Earth Roamer does through Swampy Town once, though. Now, again, I could be flubbing this whole thing just because of the tires. Well, let's go see how it does through Swampy Town. If it'll even make it... I mean, even just a little bit through it. I don't have the diff locked yet. It seems to be doing okay through the beginning here. I think we should just lock the diff up anyway. Just to give it, obviously, the best chance. And anybody who's ever seen my shit before knows that this area sucks. Uh-oh. I don't like that we're starting to sink. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Oh, that one tree there is gonna stop all. Oh no, never mind. We went over it. Thought she was gonna hang me up. Now, obviously, I don't know if you would really 
be taking a scout through this. That's kind of... I don't think that's... What this thing was really intended to do was do some of this more hardcore off-roading. But it definitely gives you an idea of how well the tire's doing some more deeper stuff. You know, sometimes you come across a trail and it has some pretty deep mud in it. You're kind of... You're kind of screwed because either you're, you're going to go through it or, well, go around, which kind of sucks sometimes. Now let's grab something that I know will make it through this. All right, this behemoth I have here is John John Hot Rods. Earth Runner. <laughs> this is actually a mod that he made uh, quite a while back. And this is based off of Earth Roamer's HD, like off road camper. So it uses, I think, the F750 platform. But we'll see how this does. I've actually uh, covered this mod quite a while ago. Been a while. Looks like third gear might be just a little too much. We'll just go right on by. <laughs> See you later, sucker. Yeah. Now this, this is an off-road camper. <laughs> not a fucking problem in the world this is how I want that other truck to go through here <laughs> alright this is a I just wanted to do this just because let's go do some other stuff with the uh, the earth roamer though yeah how about we see if it does a little bit of crawling once huh <laughs> see what an in-game truck will do. Ah. Let's see if it'll actually get up here. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see if these tires are... Well, oh, I'm dragging the ass in. That doesn't help me any. Oh, my God. I th actually thought I was going to go up there. Oh, if the... Uh, the ascent wasn't so long. Oh, no! Oh, my God, I haven't... Oh. Oh. I can't believe I didn't tip that thing over. Yeah, if the departure angle wasn't so bad. I actually think... I think it would actually get up here, to be honest. God, it's it really seems like it wants to actually really badly get up here. Oh my god. Holy fuck, it actually did it. <laughs> oh my, wow. Okay. I think we should do a little bit more off-roading with it once. Let's see how it does some of that. All right, so I grabbed a little off-road scout trailer. Let's go see how this thing does. Doing the rest of the little gauntlet here. I don't know how it's actually gonna do the hill. I, I honestly have no clue. I think it's just gonna bury itself. Remember, the tires are such a big part of this game. It's unbelievable. So we'll lock the diff up. Put it in low. I probably shouldn't have stopped here. Could have gave myself a little more room to get some momentum going. We'll see if she even pulls the hill. So far, 
Yeah. yeah it'll actually do it. I was kind of hoping that it would. Because damn, that would uh, that would end this little test pretty early. Yeah, it's actually it's actually pulling it fairly decently, to be honest. Well, oh, once you take off the diff lag, though, boy, that's a whole different story, isn't it? I just wish there was a way that you could have the diff lock on or, you know, toggle it on and off while you're in auto or, or high. I think that should be that should be a feature in this game by now. So far, it's not given up, oh, albeit I don't have any weight on the trailer itself. No, I, I am pulling some sort of weight, right? The trailer probably doesn't weigh all that much. Oh! But I would like to see the truck actually do something. This thing would benefit from diff lock so fucking bad. We'll put it in. We'll put it in low and lock the diff up. It just does some of this shit so much more easily. It just sucks that you can't really keep your speed while you're in low. You know, you're you're kind of limited, obviously, because you're only in one gear. I just don't see a fucking point to have this in the game. I would have so much have rather seen another big truck, something that, something that's useful. I just don't see scouts in this game being useful. I really don't. I don't see the point other than just to have a certain truck in the game. You know, for fanboys and shit like that, but... This thing? What were they thinking? We're gonna try the little hill. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Is it going to actually do it? Yeah, I think the power to weight's a little a little low as well. Oh. You, you gotta put it in low minus to actually get the all four to actually spin. Oh man, I think it actually might. It might do it. A little horny there. Yeah. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't think it was actually going to do it. Interesting. Let's send her on down the hill here. Oh, oh man, that thing stopped right now, didn't it? See if I can actually flip this thing back over. If the trailer can help me out here. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't think. Oh, never mind. I didn't think I had enough angle, but we did. So I did put it on its side. That's. No big deal, I guess. 
I mean, so far, I guess it's not doing terrible, but there's just so much of this game where your off-roading capabilities have to be very, very high in order to actually get to places. And I just don't think that this thing does it. Obviously, through the woods, it, it, it definitely held its own through the woods, but you can come across some pretty shitty trails through the woods, too. And like I said, I'm not even... I don't even have cargo on this trailer, either. It's going to be a whole different ballgame if you actually start pulling weight with it. And like I always say when I review uh, a new in-game truck, I guarantee you there is somebody already modding this thing. I don't know why they would waste their time. But maybe I'll do a... Maybe if like Ang Angry Ginger Life or somebody does it, maybe I'll do a comparison. We'll take her through the puddle. Let's see if it'll actually get through the puddle. Lock the diff up. All right, see, smaller stuff like that, it'll actually do it. So I guess that it says something, you know. Is it totally, completely useless? No, I guess. But it just goes back to what is the fucking point of having this in the game? I just don't know. I've seen all I need to see with it. Well, that was the Earth Roamer. Tell me what you think about it. I'm... <laughs> I usually don't talk very well about new in-game vehicles, and I think this falls under that category, too. I just don't see the use of this truck. If you could take the camper off of it and maybe put a flatbed or something on it, I think that would be a little more, well, useful. You could actually do something with the truck. I just don't, I don't see the purpose. Let me know what you think. Do you like the Earth Roamer? Do you like any of the uh, the vehicles that they that they put in? I'll probably be doing a live stream soon, and I'll uh, I'll go through and. Try to unlock them all. Yeah, just let me know. Because this... This just isn't it. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.